everyone welcome back to another episode um so on today's episode i am continuing from the road corridor um model design so on today's episode i will be teaching you guys how to label your alignment so that the contractor will be able to set it out on site Alrighty, let's get into it so the first thing that you're going to do are uh, you're going to go to your annotate tab under at labels you click on it and you come to the one that says alignment and you choose add alignment labels this is the screen that is going to pop up uh, we want to add um, labels on an alignment we want to have multiple segments so you on the label type you say multiple segment we wanted to have not just the end but both the start and end the start and end for straight alignment so the reason for this everywhere so if i click on my alignment you will see that on the straight line we wanted to have start and end and then where the curve start which is the second one that says curb label style you drop down on the curb label style and you choose the one that says beginning of curve point of intersection end of curve on the number from the pi index so we're going to choose this one and then start and end, choose the beginning of curve, um, a point of intersection and end of curve. And you say add. So it's going to ask you to select the alignment. You're just going to select your alignment. You'll see that something has changed. We now have start end. We have point of intersection one. And we also have start end. So everywhere on a straight line, um, you telling the contractor it will be a start and an end. So it's going to give the contractor start and where it ends and where the curve begins and also where the curve ends and where the straight line begins again. So as soon as you have labeled your alignment, you go back to the table, you say add table, we want to add alignment table. So because on the first one we selected multiple segment, even here on alignment, you come to add segment. Select X add segment. This is, the, this is what's gonna pop up. And then you drop down here. We are going to choose um, a, a style that will allow us to have the chainage in meters, to have the radius length, to have the delta angle and the tangent length. So um, I am going to choose the simple one. So it's, it's sitting out in meters. It has our Y and X. It has our radius. It has delta, delta angle. It has tangent length and the straight length. And I think it will have all the information that the contractor will need. I'm going to select this one. It's asking you um, select your alignment. We only have one alignment. We select that alignment and we say OK. So this is what um, it's coming up. So we can see that on the start and end, it's not picking up the chainage. It's also not picking up the Y and the X, but it's picking up the length of the straight segment. So what we are going to do, you can click on your table. You right click and go under edit table style. Here where it says, do you see it has a lot of numbers. Meanwhile, the one for the curve has start station. So you're just gonna double click on the one with a lot of numbers. We don't want this many numbers. We want to have the start station so we're gonna click start station and you say does it have start and end start okay start station so now we are telling it that it must know where the start station is and then it's also not picking up the start easting so we're just gonna double click there and we say start easting so that so after clicking what you want you just press this button so that it pops up on this um screen you say okay and then we also want it to have the start nothing so we're just going to delete all of this and then we drop down and say start nothing start nothing and we drop it out there and we say okay we say apply and okay voila so now we have our first start end, which is here, this first um, straight segment of the alignment, it has it starts at chainage zero, it ends at chainage hundred and thirty-eight, meaning our our 
radius starts at 138. Let's see. So 138 is somewhere there. Can you see? Voila. Yeah. So it starts at zero. It ends at 138.462. This is its um, easting and northing. So the contractor will know that, okay, um, from zero to 138.462, there is no change in 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 direction so it's going to be a straight line from 0 to 138.462 and after he has set this out he comes here on the second um, um, column he'll see that from 138.462 to 227.589 meters there's going to be a change so he's going to go there and first set the 138 which is this change in that can you see now we have a new easting and nothing at 138.462 and then at our pi um our point of intersection is that one five one six five twenty point two one six and then at the end of our curve it's that one six four eight four eight seven point three three zero so now on this side he know how how um our radius how big is our radius he also know um, our tangent length. He also know our delta angle. So he can set this out and then this will now be, your easting and nothing will now be the check-ins that he do to check if really the angle, uh, the curve, it's really 160 meters based on what he will be getting when he goes back and measures from the beginning of curve, the point of in intersection and also the end of curve. So the, the beginning of curve and the end of curve, it must be, um, 227 minus 138 and then um at this easting and nothing and at that easting and nothing so this is basically just for him to do the checks when he has set out the 160 meter curve um radius so as soon as he start with that at chain edge 227.589 so that's where the the curve will be ending which is here 227.589 and then again it goes straight for what 117 meters so from from here he's gonna go straight again for 117 meters and then that's where our um, um road will be ending so yeah um i hope you have picked up something from this um setting out data from your alignment and now you know that when you have done with your road design you need to give out you need to give the contractor your alignment setting out you need to give him your long sections and you also need to give him your cross sections um Alrighty, uh, thank you so much for always tuning in, for subscribing, and also for sharing with other graduates who want to learn Civil 3D. Until next time, bye.